Hello, my name is Paul. I'm with Logix Magazine, and we're, today we're going to talk about the risk to PLC programmers, especially beginners, and we're going to start right now. So, what's the first risk? Very simple. Being underqualified. Being underqualified is a real risk. It's a risk to your career, and it could be a risk to your safety. The risk is that you are going to take on tasks that you are really unqualified for. And that's going to put you and your, your uh, boss and, his, and the company and the client potentially at risk. All right. So it's very important that you find, try to find that balance between um, learning and overextending yourself, you know, overcommitting yourself all because you, you are underqualified. The most important thing you can do is just be honest with yourself and your boss about what you're capable of doing. If you have a skilled boss, he'll be able to help guide you in the direction between when you need support and he'll offer up the right kind of support for you. All right, for, for the challenges that they feel you might run into. It's just real important to be honest and open and upfront with your boss. I, I cannot overemphasize that. You're going to save yourself a lot of grief from, from making commitments you can't keep, struggling for, for hours after hour after hour to try and solve a problem that you're not going to be able to solve, okay? It's very difficult to be, to be learning out in the field trying to get the job done, all right? We'll talk about some of the other risks coming forward here. So what's the next real risk, right? Timelines. Timelines are real challenge. It's going to be a real risk to you to try and meet those timelines that your boss and the client needs to have met. You're going to, if, if you couple a couple of, couple of these risks together, being un, underqualified, okay, uh, up against the wall and timelines, as I mentioned before, there are going to be many, many times you're going to be up against the clock. And this goes for senior uh, PLC programmers as well, it's just the reality of this business, and um, it's a real risk to you being a new person. It's something you just have to be prepared for, that you're going to be up against the clock. There's going to be real challenges and real dollars and, and um, uh, commitments that need to be met, and it's going to be a real risk to you that you have to be prepared to face. People are sometimes going to get a little heated. Sometimes you're, you're, you know, you're going to face challenges and setbacks. Meeting timelines is a real challenge. And if not handled properly with, with poise and with a honest uh, approach, you're, it's going to be a real risk to your career. Make no mistake about it. All right. So what's our next risk is no resources. This is the big risk, and and that is that you're going to go out on the job, and you're not going to find the answer to the challenge that you have online. You're going to have to figure it out. All right, you're going to have to try to solve it. And if you're underqualified, you're up against the timeline, and you can't find the answer online, and you're struggling your butt off to try and uh, solve the problem, um, and you have no real resources, nobody to call, no no nothing. That's gonna that's gonna really be a, a challenge to you. So what I encourage you to do is to be honest and upfront. Try to maintain composure when you're up against the timeline, right? And then develop a black book. You'll hear me talk more about this uh, in future videos. But a black book of resources, people you can call, um, uh, information you can look up quickly uh, that you'll take. So I recommend you bring a, a thumb drive with a lot of the information and resources that are very common to the challenges you're likely to be facing. Get a good relationship with your boss so that they know where you're at and some of the challenges you're going to face so that they can point you in the right direction for resources, especially when it's at night over the weekend when you don't have a lot of people back at the shop or in the office that you can just pick up a phone and ask questions. All right, it's very important that you can develop some, some resources of your own. Right, people that you can call, fellow engineers, fellow programmers that you can call, who who will totally understand calling in the middle of the night and on weekends. Okay, so very important, but it's a real risk if you don't start putting together your own little resource box. All right, a little black book. Okay, so our next challenge. Oh man, 
travel. And this is a real challenge. This is a real risk. There's a there's literally a physical risk. Uh, I know a guy who got who got mugged in another country and was put in a hospital. Um, finding food, getting sick. I've had I've gotten sick overseas. Finding things to eat that is palatable to you. That's a real challenge. Flight, international flights rough on the body, especially if you do a lot of it. If you're a road warrior and you're traveling all the time, it's a real risk to you. It's a real challenge, man. And I tell you, it is, it can be tough. It's a great experience. It's, it's a great experience to be able to travel the world. Uh, but there are challenges. There are risks, right? So very important that you're aware of that. Okay. So let's get on to our next one. Risk five. Job site dangers. A lot of the, a lot of what I'm referring to when it comes to job site danger is you're going to be going to companies, all kinds of companies. You're not going to be familiar with, with the building. You may, may not be familiar with uh, safety protocols. You're not going to be familiar with their processes. There's real risk and danger. You're not going to be familiar with the equipment. You're going to think it should work one way and they may have jury rigged that thing a thousand ways from Sunday. And it's a real risk that you need to be aware of. So in my, my piece of advice is go slow, take your time, think things through, and don't be afraid to ask. Okay, very important. Ask the operators what's going on, how things work. Get them on your side. Because if not, it's going to be a big risk to you. Um, from crashing machines to injuring yourself. Okay, very important to just go slow when you get on site. Take your time to assess and analyze, even if you're up against the time clock, right? Don't get in a hurry. Don't make rash decisions. Don't let people who are breathing down your back push you to do things you don't want to do or in directions that you're not qualified or uncomfortable doing. All right, so what is our next risk, right? Not preparing for the next job. And I don't mean the next task, the next project that you're working at for your employer. I'm saying your next job. Odds are, so most people hold on to a job from two to five years on average. Being new, odds are you're not at the pay scale or at, at the level of opportunity that you'd like to be. You need to be thinking about that next job. It's a real risk to you not to pre begin to prepare for that next job right now. Okay, you want to maintain good working relationships with your, the team that you have. All right, you want to start building that black book of resources. You want to start building that library of code. You want to make make sure that you are thinking ahead, documenting your projects and your knowledge and experience with a very strong projects portfolio. These are the things you want to start doing from almost like from day one to prepare for your next job. It's a real risk to your career not taking this serious, right? Very important. <clears throat> All right, so our next and final risk, emotions. It's probably gonna be one of your biggest ones, especially being new. If you're like me, um, I take things personal. That is my strength and my biggest weakness. I take things personal. Um, there are things that I know and I know very well. Um, and there are, there are things that I do a particular way and I do it that way for a reason. I'm not saying that other people's way is wrong. What I am saying is, this is what I know. This is the way I do it. And I have faced enough challenges, enough, enough experiences to be confident at the way that I do things and, and confident in the choices that I make. Um, but I get pushed like everyone else. I, people step on my toes all the time uh, in projects. It, it's a real challenge. The challenge to you and the real risk to you is keeping those emotions bottled up. Um, I remember having a conversation just the other day and <clears throat> a, a gentleman that I was talking about was right behind me, well, a little bit ways behind me. I don't know if he heard me, but it's a it's a real risk if you're not cognizant of the things that are coming out of your mouth and the way that you react to them. Um, and this is, I had no intention. I have great respect for this person. I just disagreed with a decision. So the, the point being, those are things you're always going to face, but being new, it's particularly important to, to be aware of your emotions and the things that you say. Real risk to your career, right? Very real risk. So I just want to take these seven risks and share them with you. I wanted to, um, 
to to for you to take some time and think about them and um, try to understand and figure out some of the risks that you are likely to face from your perspective so that you can um, be prepared in your own way for these these risks that are most certainly going to face your way. These are some, these are not all. I'm sure you can come up with a few of your own. And I encourage you to determine what those risks are and start putting together a plan to deal with them, right? So let's, let's wrap this video up. <clears throat> if you're new to Logix Magazine and you're interested in a career in automation and robotics uh, and you, you want to become a designer, a programmer, a mechatronics integrator, type of guy puts stuff together, then subscribe to this channel and um, uh, give me a thumbs up if you think that this was a good video, uh, something of value, and hit the bell so you can be notified when we uh, put out our next video. All right, so until next time, this is Paul with Logix Magazine.